Logic Gang family, what up, man? It's your boy Mixed by Malachi, back again with another one. And today, I'm about to show you cats how I mix down my stems or separate tracks, whatever you want to call it, to record my vocals on and prepare my track to get ready to just rap on and go hard on it. This has been long awaited, man. So today, I'm gonna really show you cats how to mix your stuff down. This will work for you, and um. Make sure you got some of these plugins because I use M Rhythmizer and a lot of little other stuff too. So just make sure you got those on deck. And if you don't, go get it. Whatever you got to do, I go to Plugin Boutique and man, it be on and pop in there. Stuff be on sale, I go grab it. Yo, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tap that bell notification. That'll keep you in tune with all the latest content I drop. Leave a comment below. Man, let me know what you guys want to learn. Just to let you know, Logic Gang, I am back. So, man, whatever you want to know, just hit me up. I got you. Don't even trip. On this one, I'm not really using any Waves plugin, anything like that. Um, I want to teach you guys how to do this without having to use Waves. I know it's a lot of people that don't have Waves, so we can tap into... Um, stock plugins other third-party plugins if you have them you can use whatever you got to uh, get the job done so without further ado i want to jump straight into the tutorial don't want to hold you no long so what logic gang let's get it so this is what we're gonna do let's get into it now so i'm gonna play the beat first and then i'll explain everything i did i already got the plugins loaded but i'm gonna explain what to do and how to do it and how to achieve the same sound that i'm getting all right so Let's play the track actually real quick. I actually turned everything off. Let's turn everything off. Including the, okay. All right, so let's open up the level meter. And um, so basically what I like to do, man, is when I'm getting ready to record um, vocals to, a, to stems and stuff like that, or separate tracks, whatever you want to call it, I like to be around negative 12. But this is for people who probably want to sell their beat or whatever. You know, you want your beat to sound real good. You want it to sound real fresh. You want it to be crisp. You want the consumers to hear it. And the first thing they hear is that sound like that grabs them to where they want to purchase that track. So what we're going to do is let's play the track and then we get into the mixing. Okay, so that's the beat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna silence this and I'm gonna mute, uh, well actually I can just silence the ones that I wanna mix on. So first thing I like to do is I like to add a soft clipper to my kick. So a soft clipper pretty much keeps, um, you can push that kick as hard as you want and you won't really get too much clipping going on with that instrument. So you can actually push that kick and make that kick sound good. Now with the soft clipper, with this one from, um, the uh, T-Rex, the classic clipper, I like to hit around negative 3B in this area. This is where I like my kick to hit is at negative 3 dB. I like to take the slope down to negative 8.4, and then from there, I'll add this to the kick, and then you guys will see what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? So add a soft clipper to your kick. And um, if you don't have it, go get T-Rack soft clipper, man. Uh, I go to plug in boutique, boutique to get a lot of stuff. So I catch a lot of stuff on sale. And um, like I said, this is a pretty good plug in for soft clipping if that's something you want to use. And then the next thing I like to do is I like to use a channel EQ. Now these are stock, these are uh, like the channel EQs are stock. So you can use this or whatever EQ you want to use, you can use the same method. And then with this, I like to, Roll off about uh, 24 hertz. I like to add the dB to about 24. So we're going to do a slight cut on a, a low end. And then on the high end part, we're going to take this one and we're going to roll this to 48, 1046. Uh, and we're going to roll that all the way to here. And then we're going to start cleaning up this area and have this area sounding a lot better. So check it out. So 
So you're aiming to get that different type of sound on your kick. Now, if you want to change it up a little bit, you can add torque if you got ways. That's if you want to add torque. But if you only have uh, certain plugins to work with, then this will do. So this, this will definitely help you. So the next thing I like to do is we're going to go to the actual 808. Now, with the 808, I like to sidechain my 808, which and I know you guys probably know what sidechaining means, but if you don't, it means ducking the 808 so the kick can breathe. So actually, the kick a punch, the 808 to duck. So in order to sidechain, I like to use uh, a compressor inside of Logic, which is the Studio FET. So this would be a great plug-in to use. Now, to set this up, you want to sidechain. Go up here to sidechain. And then you're going to go to instruments and then you're going to find your kick in here and click on your kick and boom. Now you side chain your 808 and your kick. So from there, I like to uh, take my um, ratio to about one, four, to, you know, uh, one, one, four, one, uh, somewhere right there. Now with the threshold, you don't want to push it. So when you're side chaining, I like my uh, meter to hit around negative uh, 5 dB, just a little bit under maybe, just, you know, a little bit under, I don't want to go anything, I don't want to go over at all, and remember to turn your auto gain to off, and then distortion, you can put it on soft, so we're going to play it, and then take your attack and release, I'll take both of those and turn it down, so let's play it. So that's how I like to sidechain my 808 and kick. So you're actually making those two things feel comfortable together. And everything else, we're going to be rolling off 100. So we don't have anything sitting in the area of the 808 or the kick. You definitely don't want that to happen. So we're going to go here. And don't worry about your peak right now. That's something we're going to fix in the end. Now, next thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add a channel EQ. And you guys can see my method of how I... Uh, EQ my 808 so boom I'm gonna cut it on now like I said the same thing what I did with the kick I'm gonna do with the 808 I'm gonna roll off about 24 Hertz you got 24 DB and then here you're gonna roll off you're gonna uh, add a high cut you're gonna roll off about um, it depends on your 808 you know what I'm saying so if you want to keep your tail on it you can me sometimes I cut it off a little bit just to make it sound a little bit thick and I also do a cut um, at 65 Hertz but I put the Q up to about 16.0 and then I go negative 12 dB in here to give it like a nice clean cut and a nice clean feel right there. Check it out. All right, cool. So we got that going. And then the next thing I like to add is the overdrive. Overdrive is pretty much a distortion to add to the 808 to give it a little more punch and a little more feel. So when you're in a car, this your joint is kicking in there. You know what I'm saying? So Overdrive is actually a plug-in from Logic as well. You can click on Overdrive. I don't add to I, all. I do is just add Overdrive. I don't now. If your 808 ain't boosted high enough, you can actually take the drive and push it up to make it pump a little more. Okay, so you can add some overdrive to it, give it a little more feel. And then um, that's pretty much what I do with the 808, man. Like I said, you don't have to really, you know, you don't have to really add so much. It's all kind of ways you can do your 808. You know what I mean? Like I like to use, um, uh, what plugin is that, bro? Man, damn. I didn't forgot the name of the plugin, but we'll get to that later. Um, I, actually, I got a video up on how to mix 808s and kicks, so. Y'all got y'all might want to check that out as well. I probably leave something at the top up here so you guys can click on it. And then um, yeah, so the next thing I like to go to is the snare. So with the snare, I like to um I like to roll off 100 hertz because we don't want nothing sitting in between uh zero to one hundred when we're working with a kick and eight oh eight because those sit in that area. So you definitely don't want to overcrowd that area. You want to get them some room to breathe. So with your snare, 
And then also remember to make sure your snare and all your percussions, well, not all your percussions are in mono, like your snare, your 808, your kick, um, your open hi-hat and stuff like that. You want to make sure that's in mono as well. And then, um, I, like I said, with this, I do the same type of EQing. As you can see, um, I rolled off 100 here. And like I said, the reason why I roll this off is because the 808 and kicks it here. And then over here, I just boosted a little bit around 2620 to about 1.4. And then anything from 5, 5 to 10K to 20, I boost because that's where, you know, the top end is going to be. And you're going to give it a little bit of crisp. So let's play it without it real quick. Okay, so let's play it with it. And just remember, don't overdo it. You know, don't add too much on the top end and you'll be fine. And then um, we're going to move over to the actual hi-hat now. The actual clap, I mean. So the clap is pretty much the same thing for me. Like I said, all these instruments from the 808 and kick is going to be dang, dang near mixed the same, kind of. You know what I mean? So the same thing here with the clap, I like to add the same method that I added to the uh, snare. So that's the feel you're going for. Now, with the snare and the uh, clap, it kind of give it more of a full effect. You get more of a full sound. So that's the clap. That's all I do with the clap. So we're going to run through this. Um, with the hi-hat, now with the hi-hat, I like to pan left about negative 15 just to kind of make it sound full. And with the hi-hat, I'm going to actually do the same thing. But with the hi-hat, I'm actually, I'm not going to have this. This is going to be off. So we're just going to be boosting anywhere between uh, 5 to 20K. Boom, so that's what we got there. Now, I'm gonna move over to the open hi-hat, and that's the same thing I'm gonna do with the open hi-hat, the open hi-hat. So you just wanna drag it, uh, copy it to the open hi-hat, it's gonna be the same thing because these two instruments sit in the same area. Check it out. So those two instruments sit in the same area. And the good thing about the open hi-hat is I like to add a delay sometimes to it and it'll kind of, you know, give get that full effect. But I'm not going to add it to this one. And then, um, let's see. So now we got the actual uh, piano. So I'm going to um, silence that one alone. Now, I, like I told you, I like to use the M-Rhythmizer, the RC20. I'd use a channel EQ and a, 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 a kind of reverse. Uh, reverse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it without it, and then I'll show, you, I'll show you with the plugins on it. So you got the basic fill of a G-sharp minor right here. So that's boring. So now we want to add some spice to it. So the first thing I'm going to add is in Rhythmizer. Boom. So we just add the M-Rhythmizer to it and we actually did a key change. So the next thing I'm gonna open up is the RC20, the uh, retro color. Now, I like to use the vinyl and then I like to use distortion and space. I'm gonna turn magnetic off and you know what I mean? Like just the space and distortion alone sounds good. It actually changed the whole instrument. It brings, it kind of brings out uh, a, a like a, man, it's just, it's just a vibe. You know what I'm saying? So let's play it without it and then we'll play it with it. All right, so that's the vibe we get with that. So 
just adding these to your instruments make everything sound better, man. It's the new age, you know what I'm saying? And then like with this, I like to add a channel EQ, kind of give it like a radio vibe, but I push the low end to about 127 hertz and I push the uh, top to about um, 680, you know what I'm saying? And then I boost it a little bit in the mid areas a little bit, you know what I mean? And I'll let you hear it without it and then I'll play it with it on. So it's starting to starting to make a change. It's starting to sound a lot better. It's not boring anymore. You know what I mean? It's just not the regular G sharp minor, just bang, bang. You know what I mean? And then um, we're going to add that reverse to it. It's an initial reverse. And I like to use a half bar. Cool. So we got that on. And then the next thing I am. Oh, man, this, this be tripping, Joe. Um, The next thing I'm going to go to is the flute. So the flute, I like to do the same thing, but I don't add the in rhythm, the in rhythmizer to this uh, flute. I like to add the RC20 and a channel EQ, the same that I did on the actual piano. So let's open up the RC20. Let's play it without it. And then I'm going to play it with it. So like I said, you can add some distortion and you can add some space to it. Let me take that, magne that mag uh, magnetic off. Uh, then we're going to close that. So I'm just breezing through it, man, because it's it's kind of, you know, it's easy, man. And then, you know, you just go back, look at the tutorial again and just really study it. So I'm going to add the channel EQ now. So you get that vibe. And then the next instrument will be the lead. And the only thing I add to that is the actual retro too. But I'm going to actually take the EQ and roll off 100 here. So like I said, it won't be sitting with the 808 and kick and messing that all up. So let's go here. Boom. Let's add a little top end to it. Alright, so we added the uh, RC20 to that as well. And then um, that's pretty much it with all those instruments. So now what we're going to start doing is we're going to start balancing our mix. So let's turn everything back on. Now, another thing you can do is um, if you have, well, you don't have, if you don't have Ozone, you can actually use a plugin from Logic, which is in Utilities, and it's going to be the game plugin, Stereo. So what you want to do is you can actually uh, balance your mix and kill all the phase issues by using the mono button here to actually listen to the instruments. Now, everything is going to be in mono. Now, with this, is it'll be easier to balance the mix to listen to it and bring up certain instruments. So if you hear instrument that sounds too low in mono, you can definitely bring it up. So when you start hearing it in mono, you know, when you start hearing it a little bit better, stop. So see, I can hear everything 
in mono. So everything sounds smooth to me in mono lets me know that I have a balanced mix. You know what I mean? And if you got a pan analyzer or anything like that, you can add that and look at your mix as well. Um, let's see. Oh, this meter, multimeter, which one is it? So you can look at your correlation meter. And um, as long as you're not touching over here, man, your beat is good to go. You know what I mean? You can get ready to start adding a spice to it. Now, you want to make sure it's just touching around here, man, and it's, you know, it's sounding good. It's sitting up in that green nice and well. Now, if it start hitting over here, you got some phase issues and you need to go back, turn that mono button on and start lifting up some of those sounds and really, you know, putting your ears into it. Like uh, mixing really takes some good ears, man. So train your ears and give yourself a break from time to time. Don't try to go all day, man. You got to you got to come in with a fresh pair of ears. I had to learn a hard way. OK, so we did that. Boom. Now, now that we have everything balanced, we have it to, you know, we had a sound that we like. Now, you can actually. You can actually use uh, any plugin to uh, turn that beat up. But like I said, I'm using the guy particle on this one just to give it a little spunk. Here we go. Now, what I like about you, what I like about using this plugin for beginners, if you're, you're new to mixing, um, you got your low, mids and your highs. You just want everything to touch this green. And man, you good to go, man. And you can start boosting. Let's let's check it out. And that's pretty much all you got to do, man. That's how you get your song to bang, to get it going. My grandson bugging right now. I got to go get him. So um, it's your boy Mixed by Malachi. I hope y'all learned something, man. I appreciate y'all for tapping in with me. Much love. Y'all take care, and I'm out.